Today we are fixing on a V70 second generation of a V2 car uh, platform, as you call it, uh, parking sensors. Uh, they are not working, and uh, I ordered two of them are not working, but I ordered four of them since we need to remove bumper anyhow. And all are about the same age, so if one fails or two fails, then the rest of the two will fail as well. So what do we need to do? We need to remove the bumper to get to the to the parking sensors. So let's do it. Then we need to come from inside first. Turn it up. Um, get to the As close as it needs to be. And done. Let's do it. When it comes to the side or front part of the rear bumper, you need then one screw here. Leave the rivets and you undo the other screw here as well to get these off. Bumper should go off. That will be rusted. Alright. Uh -huh. Wires to disconnect. Oops, and this was an wires for parking sensor unit. And that unit needs to be disconnected and then fished out. Otherwise. Hello. And that end was on the tail and wire actually as well. And that one is that one is disconnected when I was pulling it off. Okay, good. Now we go again. Now we go again. Yeah, the tow bar is a bit in a way. Now, uh, I think I need to take the top off. Oh, wow, don't scratch the car. Alright. Yep. Yep. Alright. So that's where the wire is going from here. Actually, I shouldn't take that one off. And then there is one sensor is here, and the other sensor is under here. That's nice. We need to get we need to get to that one. So in order to do that, we need to undo the clips. Or and you can see if we can drill the nice part out. 
Mm, there is the one. And of course, then there is the other one. Also, now we just need to fish them out. Should we do that? Maybe it's in the town. I need another. Alright, so one is out. Normally you should paint them. Since it's the black car, I will not paint them, but you could put the yeah. The lack of leak leak of paint on over it. Right? Now we just yeah, press it in again. Like so. And since they are Crappy, not the original ones, there is no clip, there it clips in, okay, that's done, in the place, and we can get to the next one, this is of course not gonna be as easy, clean it out, Well, this one I broke in a half. Well, anyhow, we we'll replace it. Here's the new one. I mean, a good idea was to clean. What do you think? It's a bit dirty there, so it's gonna be sitting back door. Sitting back door. Right. Okay. And what else? And then we'll just the task of putting the plug back again. It on. All right. Ow, my finger. Put it back. Move it on. Don't try to squeeze it more. Looks like it's on. Huh? It looks like it's in as well. Hey, okay, now number three. It on, looks like it's on. No, last one. Come on, this is stuck. Yeah, this one will be broken. Yes, nice. behind it funny <laughs> anywho broken replace the seat so yeah there's a clip and there's the, the sensor itself, so it clips on two 
two sides here and then that one. Now what we need to do is to connect and see if it's working or not. starts to rain. Okay, now we put back together everything. So that needs to go. That needs to go in back. Somewhere as well. There as well. No, no, no. I don't remember how it is. Oh, like that, maybe. Over here. back the wire Should we test it again? Before we do the finals. Okay. Alright. Assembly. Take a bit of the paper and then stuck it on the knot or the bolt. The screws are in. Also, the screws are tightened, but what I would suggest, let me take the light. And people tend to forget there 
I don't know if you were able to see it or not. But, oh, come on. You see that white plug there? So that's antenna. Normally people forget about it. But it could be, it could be that if you don't, don't uh, touch it, and the radio has a bad reception. That's why we need to plug it in back, like so. Okay. I can put the panel back. 